Too many victims are frightened or they're intimidated away from reporting an incident of sexual assault. Governor Tom Wolf is signing a new law to help sexual assault victims. It comes as police are searching for a man who may know information following an incident in Oakland. A woman told police that a man broke into her apartment and tried to sexually assault her. Ralph Ayanati is live with more on the incident and that new law. Ralph. Thanks very much, Susan. Because of this new law, Pennsylvania is now taking the lead when it comes to reporting uh, sexual assaults on college campuses. At the same time, Pittsburgh police tonight are reaching out to the public for help in identifying someone they describe as a person of interest in a recent attempted sexual assault near the Pitt campus here in Oakland. I don't want anyone to fear calling 911 to report a serious crime like a rape. With the stroke of a pen, Governor Wolf signed into law a measure aimed at making it easier to report sex assaults on college campuses. The new law gives colleges and universities a year to develop online anonymous reporting systems to receive complaints about sex assaults from both students and employees. Supporters say it's the first law of its kind in the country. Too often students are afraid to call police or other authorities if they're at a party because they're afraid they're going to be punished for violating some other uh, policy, an alcohol policy or a drug policy. Pittsburgh police today released this new surveillance video of a man described as a person of interest after a burglary and attempted sexual assault early Friday morning in an Oakland apartment. A woman said she was awakened by an intruder, but after a struggle, he ran off. Some help from the community is what we're looking for from our community partners. Uh, the uh, victim described the actor as a black male, 20 to 25 years of age. On the Pitt campus, these crime alert flyers have been posted with details of the Friday incident. A recent Pitt grad says she and her friends are now taking seriously police tips about crime safety. And this is something to learn from, and now we know every door is locked, every window, no matter if we're leaving for five minutes or five hours, it's going to be locked. So, at least for the time being, the person of interest Pittsburgh police are looking to identify cannot be definitely linked to other similar crimes here in the Oakland area. And we're live tonight in Oakland. I'm Rafael Anati, KDKA News.